So for my final project, I created a motion detecting camera on the Raspberry Pi that, uh, well, it will record for 60 seconds anytime it detects motion. So um, I'm going to start it up now and you, so you can see. So uh, this is the motion detector. It goes off and then, well, this, this camera right here is recording me and I'm recording it and well, we've got sort of an inception loop here. But so this is for anybody who wants, who wants to have more security on their home. You can have this outside. I do not have it installed because I didn't get to that. Uh, I was also intending on um, having it stream stream to a local web server, but I was not able to get the functionality such that it would both stream and record at the same time. I ran out of time doing that. I, I had technic I ran into technical difficulties trying to get it to stream in general. I had it streaming, but then it stopped working. Uh, what is working is clearly you can see it is in fact recording. It does it does save the the recording. Um, that was the sixty seconds elapsing, so it stopped. But if I trigger it again, it'll start going again. So you see the motion sensor. Um, and so yeah, I can right now. I have a. I mean, it's a it's a glorified video tape camera. It's, it, it is motion detecting. So it is a motion detecting camera. Uh, the, the features I'd want to add are I would want to... So currently it just saves the file to a... Um, to a... It just creates a file that is a... That, it, that encodes the date time information in the file name. Uh, I would want to... I would want to have it store the store the um that information in a database instead of just storing it in the he file header name. Uh and then I would also want to get the streaming up and running. Uh and yeah. So that's about it.